coastal business opportunities in Indonesia. Indonesia is the largest archipelagic country in the world, located between two oceans, making it one of the most important and strategic crossroads for the world trade. Indonesia stretches from Saban to Merake, covering an area of 7.81 million kilometers square, with a population of more than 270 million who live scattered both in urban and rural areas on more than 17,000 islands of the country. Sustainable and equitable development throughout all regions of Indonesia is a key of economic growth, especially in the digital era. The development of digital talent and human resources, the development of physical and digital infrastructure, and also bureaucratic simplification are the main pillars of digital economy development. The digital era is marked by changes in behavior and community demands in carrying out of daily activities. People have been shifting their preferences and ways of making transactions from conventional to modern through optimizing the use of information technology. The ease of public access to make online transactions indicated by 202.6 million internet users in Indonesia and has encouraged an increase in the value of e-commerce transactions by 29.6% in 2020. On average, Indonesian people make online shopping transactions 17 to 20 times a year. Eventually, the trend of online shopping has driven Indonesian people's needs for faster, more accurate, reliable and affordable delivery services to any part of the world. For this reason, Indonesian postal and courier services are present as part of the global supply chain. Postal and courier services play a role as an integral part to fulfill daily people's needs. More than 40,000 postal workers in Indonesia, with coverage within the whole territory of Indonesia, and even between countries, are ready to serve people. In the digital era, the role of the postal and courier sector is more relevant and essential than ever. Goods purchased online by consumers must be physically transported and delivered to the recipient. The presence of postal and courier services in the community has been felt since 275 years ago. At the present, there are more than 700 postal and courier operators located everywhere in the whole territory of Indonesia. It led to the growth of domestic investment realization in the postal sector by 245% from 2019 to 2021. The growth rate of the postal sector's gross domestic product also increased 33.62% on a year-on-year -year basis in the second quarter of 2021. The Ministry of Communication and Informatics has an important role on the development of the national postal industry, continuously improves and develops the quality of postal services through cooperation and coordination with various stakeholders in the postal, courier, and logistics industry. Some of the efforts initiated by the Ministry of Communication and Informatics are conducting technical guidance, seminar, focus group discussions, and digital facilitation to the postal and courier operators. The Ministry of Communication and Informatics also stipulates policies and regulations, as well as carries out supervision and control, taking into account rules and regulations in related sectors, both at the domestic and international levels. Furthermore, the Ministry of Communication and Informatics actively contributes in international postal and logistics forums to promote national interests at the global level. Indonesia constantly upholds the principles of single postal territory and freedom of transit to ensure access to postal services around the world so that no one's left behind. Optimization of public services, especially the postal licensing process, is also carried out by the Ministry of Communication and Informatics. The licensing process can be completed in one day. The license application is fully processed online, digitally signed, and uses QR code to guarantee security. Applicants can monitor the progress of the application online. Thus, the licensing process becomes faster, more transparent, accessible, and efficient. The government of Indonesia's commitments to improve services and governance have promoted Indonesia's predicate as a business-friendly country. 
In only four years, the foreign investments value of the postal and courier sector increased 15 times in 2020. Domestic regulations in the postal and courier sector always support the Government of Indonesia's program to increase foreign investment to strengthen the competitiveness and productivity of the national postal industry. Through great dedication and hard work, we have delivered optimum results in the digital age of convenience, which can be felt by everyone everywhere. Convenience is everyone's wish. Let's get together towards digital economy. The more digital, the more advanced Indonesia.